So now let's say for example that I've gone to the bottom slide and I'm gonna actually import another image in here. I'm gonna import that people.jpg file. You know, so it's gonna take a little bit of time and I'm just gonna do a little bit of resizing. That way it kind of stands out a lot more. Now, if you're like me, this is kind of annoying. I don't really like to have my uh, click to add title uh, there, especially if I'm not gonna add anything to it. Uh, so what I actually typically like to do is get rid of it. How do I do that? Now, if I kind of mouse over to the edge, you see that uh, my cursor is actually giving me my four kind of crosshairs. This is to indicate that I can move it. Or if I click once, it indicates that I can select this object. Now I can hit backspace or delete and it'll go away. Now we have a big issue going on here. Let me go ahead and just crop out some of this just so we can see this for added effect. I'm gonna just kind of clear it out so it, you know, a lot more family centered. Uh, get rid of a little bit of that overhead. Get rid of that a little bit of that overhead as well. There we are. And that way I can resize this again. Now the reason why I've done this in particular is that this is actually a very big file. If you kind of take a look at the files you downloaded today, that file, that people.jpg, is a 10,000 kilobyte file. That means it's a 10 megabyte. That's a very high resolution image, which means when I save this file, notice it took a second. You know, there was a pause there. And if I take a look at this file now, where are you? Mm -hmm. Well, let's actually, let me do a file save as to my desktop. That's probably the safest bet. And I'm going to just drag it over here for a second. I'm just going to copy and paste it over here. Notice how big it is. It's two megabytes big. That's an MP3 just for a picture. Now, what can I do to resolve this? Well, one of the things I can do is I can actually come in here and I can compress this down. And again, inside of my picture tool section, if I select the compress pictures button, that's exactly what it's going to do is I can say uh, to delete the cropped area of the picture. Remember, I cropped out a lot of this stuff, so I can crop it out. I can also specify how much PPI uh, points per inch, uh, pixels per inch, uh, I can have uh, for any pixel, uh, basically. Uh, so something like uh, 220 is good for printed uh, pictures if I'm going to then turn, take this to a printer and print it out versus something like email. Uh, you know, I don't want to store as much because I'm emailing it to someone and you know, a lot of uh, email programs still arbitrarily don't allow you to send more than five megabytes. So in my case, I'm actually gonna say screen because again, this is a presentation that I'm gonna deal with Boom. And once I save that, and if we take a look at it again, this time I bring it over. Oh, this time I bring it over again. You'll see that I actually just by compressing this image alone and saying, oh, this is only going to be for screen, I've cut it down from 2,000 megabytes to, well, 200 megabytes to one megabyte. Now I know megabytes don't sound like a lot, but again, let's think about uh, when you guys are downloading these things on your own home computers. Some of you may be using data plans. Well, you would rather uh, have just one megabyte uh, instead of two megabytes. So it is kind of a little bit uh, important. Again, some email systems don't allow you to email over five megabytes. So every little picture kind of adds to that. And so you got to be a little bit more careful when you're dealing with adding pictures to your presentations.